What's good? This is Trey. Welcome to this presentation. The topic for today is how to attract an abundance of women with a alpha male vibe, right? So how to develop an alpha male vibe that attracts women in abundance, okay? When you think of alpha, think of dominant, think of power, think of leadership, think of assertive, okay? Why am I bringing up these words? So you can get the attitude of an alpha male, which will help you create the vibe because the vibe is the energy that surrounds you. Think of, when I think of vibe, man, I think of your aura, right? Your aura, so like the energy that surrounds you, the container that you've created. Somebody who comes into your container, they should be able to feel your energy. If a woman comes into your container, she should be able to feel your energy. And the more you develop this um, this alpha male vibe, the more, the bigger your container becomes, the more the energy reflects outwards and the more people can feel it from a further, uh, a further distance, right? So when I think of this alpha male vibe, you know, I'm looking at, okay, what are, what are the main qualities we have to develop if we want to resonate or radiate this alpha energy? Okay, the first one I want to look at right now is having this mentality and this outlook of you're seeking challenge. The alpha male <clears throat> is the leader. Okay, he's he's the leader. He's the he's the boss. He's the person with the most power in the environment. Right? He's the person you have to keep your eye on. Right? Like the beta male is the guy that's in the you know, in the shadows or whatever. Nobody gives a fuck about him. And I'm, I know it sounds kind of cold, but that's the facts. The alpha male is the one that everybody's paying attention to. But why are they paying attention to him? Because he has the most influence, right? He's demonstrating the most attractive qualities, whatever that may be. It may be confidence. It may be, um, he may be bold. He may have certain type of status. He may have some type of leverage. It might be resources, whatever it is. But it's his attitude, because if he had all these great things, but if he walked around like this with no confidence, he's not an alpha, man. Doesn't matter what he has. So we got to keep that in mind that al alpha is an attitude. It's a vibe. Somebody can be short. Somebody could be short, but still be alpha. If he, if he's, you know, he has his head up and he, he's like, hey, what's up? You know, and he speaks with confidence. People are still going to respect. It don't matter about, you know, muscles, height and stuff like that. <clears throat> You know, that stuff just adds to it, right? It adds to the character, but it's the inner game that's important because even the way how I look, right? If I don't, if I carry myself weak, I'm, I'm going to be considered weak. Is this the end of the story? If I'm like this and I'm like, hey guys, you know, show you how to be an alpha male. Doesn't matter, bro. Nobody's going to listen because it's like, bro, what's up with your vibe? What's up with your attitude? So that's where it's at, Right? Like, if you can show up with the vibe, with the attitude of an alpha male, then you're good. So, so let's look at it. So, it's, it's this idea of, I'm seeking challenge. That's, that's part of the alpha energy, right? There's a bunch of different traits, but let's focus in on this one right now. The, the alpha male, the alpha energy is the energy of, I'm here to dominate the environment, right? I'm here to express myself in the environment. I am here and I want to be seen. I want to be noticed. I'm looking for the challenge. I, like the beta male is the one that's in the back, you know, passive, like, oh, okay. You know, don't want anybody to bother me. I don't want any confrontation. Don't want any problems. Just want a safe life. Just want to be careful. Just want to be safe. Now tell me, which woman is going to go to, going to be interested in that guy? Right? Why would a woman go to a guy that's basically literally showing that he's a pussy? It's not going to happen. So it's the guy, <clears throat> women flock to the guy who's demonstrating power, who's demonstrating, you know, I'm the king in here. Right? What's up? But it's a, it's a vibe, it's an attitude. Like he, the, 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 the alpha male doesn't have to talk a lot. Right? Like if you think about a mob boss, right? You think about, you know, um, 
like a, a, a king, like a, a powerful man, a man of power and strength. Like they don't really talk a lot. They maybe say a few words, but you can you can feel them though. You know what I mean? You can see it in their eye, you can see it in their body language that they're not a joke, that they mean what they say. Right? And if you don't follow what they say, there will be consequences. Right? You can see that. You can feel it. Right? And people won't question them because it's an energy that's coming across. But that energy will only come across if you're actually living like an alpha. So one of the this, we're just gonna focus on this one quality in this video. It's the challenging spirit. It's the spirit of challenge. Alpha male energy, if you want alpha male energy, you have to challenge yourself. Because when you challenge yourself, you go through tension, and you, when you go through the tension, it, it bothers you, right? It, it does, it's uncomfortable, or whatever, but when you go through it, guess what? Your comfort zone expands, and what happens? Your confidence improves, right? You start to believe in yourself more. You start to feel stronger. You start to respect yourself more. You start to love yourself more, right? And so now, you, you, your head goes up a little bit more. Your chin goes up a little bit more. You smile a little bit more. Right? You're more relaxed in the environment because you know I challenge myself, man, and I can handle a challenge. If somebody wants to say something to me, I can handle it. I'm ready for it. I'm looking for it. Where is it? Right? Like you're seeking out the challenge. You're looking around. It's like you're a predator, but you're a good predator. You're not a bad predator. You're not evil. You're not bullying anyone. You're not going to start any problems. You just let people know, look, I'm not afraid of anyone in here. Okay? I'm going to express myself. I'm going to say what I want to say. I'm going to do what I want to do. And it is what it is. And if somebody has a problem, let's have let's let's have a discussion. Right? I'm not backing down. Right? But but the key thing is do not violate your environment. Right? Like if you pay attention the the the, the alpha male in the environment, he's not violating the environment. Like he because of his existence the, the, the environment gets better. Like, that's a key thing. That alpha male spirit, like being a, a true leader, a true boss, a true king or whatever, the, the environment needs to get better because of you, right? People need to feel safer because you're there. Oh, he has our back, right? He's not gonna be a pussy. If something goes down, he's gonna be here. He's intelligent. He can help us solve whatever problems going on in the, in, in the situation. If, if something comes up, he's, he's smart enough to help us. Like, you got to figure out what qualities can you bring to the environment that will allow you to be alpha. And, and really, all it comes down to is you have to benefit the environment more than everybody else in your own way. So I want to give you an example. How can you, for example, uh, one of the best places to practice this stuff, um, for me at least, I would say is like a club. Right? Because you can go in a club, there's lots of women there, there's men there, and you can work on your social skills and work on being whatever character you want to be. If you want to be more alpha, you can practice at the club. Now, one of the ways I do it is when I go in a club, I, I focus on how can I influence the environment in a positive way and become an alpha in the environment. Well, to me, one way to do it is by having a lot of connections in the environment, positive connections, and basically being able to bounce around with different groups of people. So when women see you, they're gonna see, oh, this guy's connected, he knows people in here, he's cool, he's friendly, he's social, right? And that, if you think about that, that's survival value because if some shit went down, you would have allies, right? So when I go to the club, I try to vibe with people. Right? Like, I'm like, hey, what's up? You know, whether it's a guy or a girl, hey, what's up, man? Hey, you know, I'm for a party, you know, and, and vibing with everybody and good vibes. Hey, high five, you know, just spreading good vibes because I want to connect with people. I want to show people, look, yo, I'm here. I'm here to have a good time and I'm here to help you have a good time too. I'm not here like, oh, let me see if I can get some pussy. Let me, where's the pussy at? You know, and it's like, like a, a hunt, hunting for pussy. And oh, that's the only thing I care about all night. No, my goal is to create good vibes, right? Influence the environment, make it better because I was here. And the women will notice me when I'm doing this. So then if I decide to approach a woman, it's going to be a lot easier for me to influence her because she's going to be like, oh yeah, this, that, that's that cool guy that was, you know, vibing with everybody. I saw him, you know, he was making people smile. He was bringing up the vibes when people are dancing. I, you know, you see somebody dancing, you're like, hey, you know, you go and dance with them, right? 
the club is a great place for you to practice it, but you notice, you see, being alpha is not necessarily like, ah, you know, no. It's just showing your power, showing that you have the most power and influence in the environment, but it, it could be in a cool way. Like I said, I'm just going around dancing with people, having a good time, but I'm cool about it, right? Like, don't show up, don't show up like, like with needy energy, like, oh, I'm lonely, I need some friends. Like, fuck that, man, you're a king. You show up as a king and you're like, man, these people are, I'm gonna bless these people with my presence today, with my good vibes. So you actually wanna like, <clears throat> work on your character, man. Like, I'm gonna tell you what, like, when I show, when I go to the club, I show up as a cool character. <laughs> what do I mean by that? I don't show up looking average, man. Like, I'll, I'll show up like this, you know? Show up looking cool, man. I show up, you know, nice physique, you know, smelling good, smile on my face, um, you know, just good vibes, relaxed, detached from the outcome. Like, I'm okay. Key thing, key thing. You got to be okay with rejection. I, I need to point this out. If When I go to the club and I spread good vibes, I'm not saying that every single person is receptive to that. Sometimes you go up to somebody, you then say, hey, hey, and they're like, yo, get out, who are you, you know? Some, not everybody's gonna vibe with you, but the key thing is don't drop your vibe just because somebody rejects you. Like, that's where guys mess up, man. Because that, that's why I'm telling you the truth, because I don't want you to go and think, oh, just because you're good vibes, everyone's gonna fuck with you. That's not true. Some people are not gonna be fucking with you. Some people are not gonna like your, um, like your energy or whatever, even though it's positive, they're not gonna like it and that's okay. You gotta be able to keep it moving. Like I've done this myself, I've seen it with other guys, I have other friends that are good at this too. They go out and they and you know they vibe and I got to see it for myself. Like they're in great positive vibes because I'm vibing with them too and I see them go up to some group of people, whatever, and the group of people are like, you know, giving them the cold shoulder, like, yo, get away, you know? So it happens. But when it happens and somebody does that, you just smile and say, all right, man, take care. And you just keep it moving, hey, we're vibing, you know? Like, you you keep your state, um, ground, that's what I mean by grounded masculinity, like, challenge, people gonna challenge you, but you stay in your frame. Your vibe is untouchable, right? Like, a, a, true, a true alpha male, you know, he stays alpha, no matter what, right? Like, if, like, you're not an alpha, the alpha vibe that I'm talking about, it's something that you need to maintain. Like when you get challenged, if you get challenged and you break, guess what happens? You become beta in that moment. It's like people would challenge you to see, is he putting on a front? Is he, does he truly have that alpha energy? Is he truly a king? Is he truly a lion? Is he truly a beast or is it a joke? Is it a, uh, let's, let's test him. Let's reject him real quick. Let's, let's turn our shoulder on him and see what happens. Right? They may be doing it subconsciously. It's not like they're like, yeah, let's get him. Most of the time, they're not doing that. But when they do it, this is an opportunity to show how strong your character is. Like, do you break as soon as as soon as something doesn't go your way? Do you all of a sudden, ah, you know what, man, I'm going home. Or, or you know what, man, I'm just going to go in the corner now. Or, you know what, man, I don't want to uh, uh, talk to anybody. Don't to get sour. Hold that energy. You're supposed to get challenged. That's why I said in the beginning, the alpha energy is the energy of the challenger. You're challenging people and you want people to challenge you. And you and you and you show up to the challenge with positive energy and you're like, let's go. And you don't break character. Right? And this energy, why is it attractive to women? Right? Because you're showing dominance, you're showing showing power, you're showing evolution, you're showing improvement, you're showing that you are not uh, complacent. You are not um, just staying in place, right? You are moving forward, right? Women are attracted to evolution. They're attracted to somebody who's moving up, a rising stock, right? If they see, if they see that you're going somewhere, they want to go on that ride because the, the, the emotions they experience is positive, right? When you're going through evolution, when things are getting better, those emotions that come with that, it feels good. So that's why like if somebody's having a good time at the party and stuff like that, women will go around him because he's creating a great vibe, man. He's moving forward, he's making the party better, it's good vibes or whatever. That's what they wanna be around.
But the guy who's just trying to act cool and tr act tough, and because I used to do that, I used to go to the club and I used to go in the club and just stand up and just look tough. You don't get any girls like that, because why would a girl want to be, what is she going to do, just stand there and look tough with you? No, she wants to have a good time. She wants to shake her ass. She wants to, you know, go that dance around. So the guy who's dancing around, like I, I, at first I used to try to be the tough guy, and I was like, okay, that shit doesn't work. So then I started dancing and having a good time, and I started getting girls, man. They started come. sometimes they'll come to you. Literally, they'll come to you. Like, they'll see you having a good time, and then they'll, like, smoothly, they'll walk over, and they'll say, hey, and they'll start dancing or whatever, and then you just, you just dominate. You grab her hand, and you spin her around, and, and you do your thing, man. I'm just using the club as a context, but you could do this vibe you can carry anywhere, right? <clears throat> Like if you go into a business event, be the kind of guy that is socializing with everyone. Good vibes. He's not trying to sell his product. He's not trying to sell his service. He's just creating good vibes, creating connections. Maybe he'll connect the guy. He might say, hey, hey, brother, I see that you do uh, music. I just spoke with somebody over there. He's a graphic designer. Maybe you guys could link up and produce some music together. Maybe help you with your album art and you could create some music. You know what I mean? Like you become that guy that connects people and links people together. That's your value. Right? But that alpha energy, you see, it's 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 creation energy. It's like it moves, it, it's assertive, it's doing something. Right? It's not that that beta male energy is just like hoping for shit to happen. Hopefully I get a girl. Hopefully it's some no alpha goes and makes shit happen, bro. He cre he dominates the environment, but in a positive way, right? So that's the advice, man. Go out there, project that alpha energy. Attract beautiful women, attract powerful men, attract resources, create great experiences for yourself. If you'd like support and guidance, I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. It's called the Unbreakable Beast Program. It's eight weeks of me and you working together. And I'm going to help you become an unbreakable beast. Essentially, what that means is helping you become grounded in your masculinity, more able to express yourself authentically and more of a leader and a sexy archetype most attractive version of yourself, all right? It's $9.97 for the program, and it's one-on-one -on -one coaching. I'm going to transform your life. All right, thanks for watching. Peace.